Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Dalren. I am physically drained, I am mentally drained, and that is because I decided to do the class challenge or the spec challenge yet again. It is back up on the US servers for, I think, it's gonna be up for one more day, and I decided to live stream it. I gave Agatha a really good number of attempts, I got into second phase multiple times, and after giving it so many attempts and just bashing my head against the wall so many times, I derived a few conclusions which I want to share with you guys. This challenge is so goddamn difficult that I love it. I honestly do. It's been a long while since we actually had challenging content, and I talked about this uh, challenge dungeon scenario, I don't even know what to call it, uh, in a past video. But after giving it another go and getting so goddamn close to killing goddamn Agatha, I've, oh man, it's it's uh, it's an experience that will change you into a whole new man. You will uh, go through puberty all over again after yelling the word slut so many times into your fucking microphone. Oh, uh, well, that's for one. Because you're just gonna hate this boss. I actually, at one point, I was live streaming and I, this is embarrassing, but I was literally wishing the imps cancer. I was like, I hope these NPCs get cancer, which is something you should never do. But embarrassingly, I did say those words. Uh, and it's just this this boss was driving up a wall. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to get this done anytime soon I think I'll probably have to wait until a tumors comes out and get a little bit more PvE gear get better PvE trinkets Before I give this another attempt Because otherwise I got so close, but every time I didn't get it uh, I it just a little bit of my soul died and It was kind of a good feeling like uh, when you're so when you're dying in your soul most people are like wait Are you, are you, are you okay? Are you doing fine? Are you depressed? And in this case, I'd be well a little bit because this boss just keeps sending imps at me and the boulders keep kicking my ass. But here, I would say that it's the good kind of pressing because it just makes you a little bit humble. When you finally see that wall that you cannot scale with a few leaps and bounds, you actually have to climb, analyze, assess, and you're gonna fall off that wall straight on your ass more than once to learn your lesson. That's when you really start to feel humble. You really start to feel appreciate the content, you start to appreciate your class, you, you appreciate how much you can take as a person in terms of challenges and just how far you are willing to go. And it's a great experience. I think the last time we had a real challenge for a solo class was, I believe, Vanilla World of Warcraft. And I believe it was the class quests, especially for some of the uh, forums. It might have been not like the most difficult thing in the world because I never really played in vanilla uh, Let alone, you know, private servers are a thing that you should normally never play hint hint nah, nah. But from what I heard it was a challenge for yourself as a player and at the time a lot of players in World of Warcraft were pretty bad A lot of people were clickers, keyboard turners and at the time it was a rewarding experience It made you try really really hard for the quest and it did give you some failures and there were blunders But eventually you accomplished this goal now another thing about this challenge mode I feel like is it really pokes some evident holes in the logic of Blizzard making the Outlaw Rogue spec. Now Outlaw Rogue spec is my favorite spec in the game and I know that Rogues are going to be going through interesting changes in patch 725. I'm very excited to see what these changes bring overall. One thing that I feel like Blizzard themselves as developers could do is use this challenge dungeon or scenario or this challenge quest in order to balance out Outlaw. One of the things that you do will see with Outlaw Rogues when running this fight is, for the most part, you can't really plan this fight ahead. When it comes to, let's say, choosing your legendaries, choosing a defensive legendary is actually worse than choosing an offensive legendary. As an Outlaw Rogue, if you get a good combination of buffs, or if you get a couple of good buffs back to back to back, something like Grand Melee, True Bearing, and if you're able to line up your cooldowns together, then in most cases you'll perform this fight a lot better than if you run Valyria's Legendary, which is Valyria's, I don't remember what it was, but with that Legendary on Faint, you get back 4% of your health over a few seconds. And if you run, let's say, with the Legendary Neck, which gives you a massive absorb, then you at least, with those Legendaries, you're somewhat able to plan your way defensively. But as an Outlaw Rogue, if you are not rolling good buffs for defense or offense, you're not really accomplishing anything. Let's say you're running all these defensive Legendaries, and you keep rolling Buried Treasure. 
Buried treasure as a buff, and this is Blizzard, Blizzard's trying to address this in 725, I understand that, but Buried treasure is no good of a buff compared to True Bearing, which can give you adrenaline rush to get through some of the high, uh, some of the high DPS phases of the fight, or even Grand Melee, which give you a little bit extra of that oomph in terms of survivability. It's just one of those things with a spec, and we've known it for a while, the RNG aspect of it pissed people off. I've never really been pissed off in terms of outlaw RNG, but when you see just how much the random chance is affecting this challenge alone, which of course I could have been more geared for, could have had more buffs, could have had better food, but I was just so close every damn time with this. And in most cases or not, there are some footages that I have that if you watch the stream VOD for as long as it's up. Then you'll see that there's times where I just get really bad rolls, really bad buffs, and I got Agatha popping her shield, and I keep getting broadsides, and I don't have a drone rush or artifact weapon or vanish with my uh, crit legendary to work with. In order to bust through that absorb, the spec just falls off the map. And again, this is a great challenge, and I don't know if Blizzard is gonna nerf it down the line. I hope they do not. I hope this kind of thing continues in the game, and I hope they add something more to build up on this kind of uh, mechanic this can this actual class challenge or maybe balance it so that every single specialization has an actual challenge to work through overall i'd have to say this has been a great experience i am um i am about 54 deaths on a live stream um not just from this session alone i probably had 20 or 30 attempts uh prior so i'm not really counting i'm not keeping account that was a lot of fun uh, I did see issues with the Alpha Rogue, and um, those are good issues. This is good that we have something that you can run, where if someone were to play Outlaw, you could definitely see the disadvantages of the specialization, where it kind of trips over itself and falls uh, falls thin. And I really do hope that Blizzard utilized this as almost like a, a gauge to figure out where exactly Alpha Rogues are at. I know that they're a company, and I know that they can't, uh, you know, benefit for every single specialization out there, but I really do hope that they um, take a fairly close look and as they're doing the redesigns to rogues in 725 i think this will be a pretty good uh pretty good example of where rogues could be at at least especially out the rogues could be at in terms of the buff mechanic in terms of reliability when it comes to additional out damage and uh yeah that's really about it this has been a good experience i'm dead inside it's uh way too late my voice is hoarse and i think i'll see you guys in another video thanks so much for watching let me know if you tried the challenge let me know what you think about it and I'll see you guys in the next video.